welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to kind of get this everyday nice fresh glowy face for the summer and also these soft beautiful body wave curls. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. body wave that the hair had when I originally got it. Um, all the details regarding the hair will be listed down in the description box. As you guys can see, I already have my brows, lashes, and eyeshadow on, so nothing crazy at all. I'm using the same palette that I've kind of been using in the past couple of videos, which is the Violet Voss Pro Palette, and this is what it looks like. Um, so I actually ended up using about three different colors from here just for the eyes, so I'll be sure to, um, no, I'm not going to link it down below. I just told you what it was. <laughs> Alright, so for skin, I'm actually going to go ahead and start with this foundation um, tutorial because it's more so like an everyday type of thing. So this is what I do kind of to maintain my weaves if I do want a little bounce and curls to it. And then my face. So if I'm not wearing eyeshadow, I'm definitely doing this foundation routine. So for uh, primer, I'm going to be using the No Primer or No Pore No Problem. So this is by Touch and Soul and I'm just going to squirt this on my face. Y'all, this literally fills in any of those areas that are just like problematic because I really do have like oily combination skin. So of course I do have acne prone skin as well. And so due to me like always picking in my face and stuff like that, I do tend to have acne scars and um, larger pores. So this is definitely going to help out with that. Just kind of like disguising everything for you just to make sure that your foundation and everything else that you put on your face goes on as smooth as possible just to kind of fill in those weird areas. Alright so I use a pretty generous amount of that and then um, today I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty product so I'm actually going to be using this little tri oh okay I'm going to be using this little trio here um, so it comes with the different color concealers and then of course the 
highlighter. So I'm going to be using the color Truffle, Almond, Caramel, and Rum. These are all highlighter, contour, and highlighting shades. I'm going to start off with the color Rum because if you guys didn't know, I like to use some type of highlighter um, actually underneath my foundation because it actually gives it something to stick to even further than the primer. And it kind of illuminates the foundation as well. And so I like to use this just because the glitz that are inside of the like highlighter sticks, they actually fill in the pores also. So I definitely like to use that. And it helps your uh, foundation last a little bit longer. And also, like I said, give it something to stick to. So right now I'm looking like... <laughs> so crazy so anyway once you look like a disco ball go ahead and just kind of blend that out the brush that I'm using is by Luxie it's a dual fiber brush or powder brush and this is the number 516 if you guys are interested the Luxie brushes can kind of be expensive so I actually get them and I've started to collect them in my boxy charms because I usually get them pretty often all right so if you want to look at disco ball you're done here don't listen to anything else I'm saying <laughs> So for foundation today, I'm going to be using the NARS. You guys, I typically would use my Fenty, but it's a little bit more on the yellow side these days. Not really feeling it, so I'm going to take a couple squirts. Actually, I used way too much product just now on the back of my hand. But anyway, I'm going to take a little bit of this um, NARS Pro Longwear, or this is actually the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the color Tahoe. I'm usually somewhere between Tahoe and Cadiz, if you guys are wondering. I figured that I might as well start just talking through these makeup tutorials because I always forget to leave the details in the description and it just becomes more of a hassle later so yeah and as you guys can see I'm literally just kind of painting it all over my face and then I'll go in smaller circular motions just to really make sure that everything is blended out make sure you want to cover the neck so that everything blends now I don't like too much product on my forehead so I actually use whatever is left over on the brush to do my forehead Alright, so anything left on the back of my hand, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of use the product just to kind of go over any areas in my face that are a little bit more problematic where you will have a little bit of, uh, I guess, more discoloring and things like that. So to go ahead and conceal, I'm going to be using the color Caramel, which is a lot closer to my skin tone. And I'm just going to go right underneath the eyes. You may not even notice a difference. That's how close it is to my skin tone. But I'm literally just using this to get rid of any dark spots underneath the eye. And then to blend this out, I'm going to be using the 110 Fenty Beauty uh, Foundation Brush just to kind of get that product really packed into the skin. Alright, so now that everything is pretty much covered, now it's time to highlight. I'm going to be using the color Almond to actually highlight uh, right underneath the eyes. Again. So we're just kind of building up product, and I'm the queen of like a natural kind of face. I don't ever want to go too, too overboard, so I like to slowly build up the products. And so I'm just going to take a little bit of this, a little bit of this, <laughs> on the bridge of my nose, and then a little bit right here, going over that same area, and then a little bit on the chin. Not too, too much, because I already pretty much have a freaking big chin anyway. You don't want to protrude too many areas of your face. That's when it gets a little drag queenish. <laughs> just doing too much highlight and contour. And then on the sides of the nose, I'm usually, well, I'm just actually going to drag this with a brush just to lightly go on the sides of the nose, just to snatch it in just a little bit. Nothing crazy. I actually don't have a huge nose. It's actually pretty flat. So I try not to do too, too much to it. And I'm just using patting motions just to kind of really get this into my skin so that everything is blended together. And I've kind of stepped away from the beauty blenders just for a little bit because I noticed how much product is being wasted um, because the sponge just kind of sucks up so, so much. So I'm trying to switch back over to brushes. So now that I'm highlighted, I'm going to go ahead and contour with the color Truffle. As I stated, these are trio sticks, so you definitely just kind of get everything in one place. You don't really have to do too much. I'm actually going to start from right here and just apply a little bit to the jawline. This is not my jawline. This is the um, cut of my jaw, cheek contour area you know what I'm trying to say the way that you find that is basically look at the tip of your ear and go into a diagonal motion from the tip of your ear down to the center of your mouth usually that's gonna follow the exact line this whole kissy face it's not accurate because for me it would be down here at the bottom of my ear and that's just far too low so I always follow my clients ear and also mine 
And I try not to bring it in too, too much because I don't want to look like a drag queen, of course. I already have really strong features. Like, there's no reason to keep doing that. And just to blend this out, I'm actually going to take the same foundation brush that I use to apply, obviously, my foundation, just to blend it out because it also takes away some of the harshness because you already have product on there, so it just kind of blends flawlessly. And you want to kind of focus in the same area. You don't want to get messy with it because you don't want a muddy face. You definitely don't want all these colors to kind of blend in together. So I just want to blend that out right away because these um, sticks do dry kind of fast. So that's something, it's a positive because at least you know the product is not like going to move anywhere. But on the other side of it, it's still just kind of like, dang, I don't even really have a lot of time to blend. So you definitely want to kind of move fast with this product. Just going to use some of this on the top of my forehead. Honestly, that's a little bit more than what I would usually use. But like I said, because I'm using the foundation brush to blend this out, I'm not too, too worried because it's going to help with the blending of everything, as you can see. So it's a nice, soft highlight and uh, contour. Nothing too, too crazy. Just going with the natural contours of your face without overdoing it. Now, of course, you want to set our product. I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty. Um, this is an all-over face powder in the color Honey. I'm actually going to use this all over my face. And then in some areas, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Translucent Setting Powder right under the eyes. So everywhere I highlight it, it will get the Kat Von D. And everywhere else will get the Fenty. <laughs> get it? Kat Von D Fenty. Okay. Anyway, it's time to some of that off on the brush. And I'm literally just going to go ahead and pat this into the skin. And this really serves for a fresh face. This is how I don't look cakey. When you guys are wondering, like, girl, you put on a lot of makeup, but it never looks like it. It's a combination of using that shimmer up under the foundation and not going overboard with too, too many dry products. And I have oily skin, so I do not mind it at all. This literally keeps me covered. And by the time my oil starts to peek out, Literally everything just kind of melts together. It almost, it's almost like my foundation starts to look better. All right, and then everywhere else, gonna take the Fenty. So when I say everywhere else, it's literally everywhere else except that contour area. I'm actually gonna use the brush to kind of outline that here because I do want more of a cut without having to use like a beauty blender to do it. So just a soft cut. You can really see that jawline. You can let it sit if you want. All right, and to just go ahead and kind of get that face and the contour set and nice and bronzy. I'm going to be using the Black Radiance Contour Trio. Uh, it has a highlighter and then, of course, a contour and like a more of a um, kind of bronzer shade. And I'm just going to use this on a brand new uh, foundation brush. This is a crown brush. It's more of a stippling brush. I'm going to use this very lightly, the contour shade just to go in right in the area that I put that truffle just lightly pack 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 right in the area that you want to focus on really kind of showing off your cheekbones and then fan it out so we're just gonna pack it here pop 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 and fan and if you have a good foundation and you've set everything properly, once you do this, you should not get any patchiness. I know sometimes people say that like they'll tap products into their skin and then they start to kind of blend it out and it gets blotchy. That probably means the products you're using aren't mixing well, so they may be oil-based and then water-based and they're just kind of going all over the place. That's that whole muddy look that we're not going for. Then the leftovers will go on the sides of my nose. And then over the tops of my forehead. And if you feel like you've gone overboard, that's why we didn't use the foundation brush. We want to use the same brush that we use to blend out the contour that was also the foundation brush just to blend everything together. So that's that. And then I'm also going to go ahead and top this off with some highlighter. So I'm going to be using the Fenty uh, Beauty in Hustler Baby. This is a kilowatt highlighter. I'm going to be using this. And just for the sake of me forgetting to bring over a highlighter brush to this freaking area, <laughs> I'm going to be using the same brush that I use to uh, set my foundation with a little bit of highlighter. Ooh, look at that. 
Um, what I am going to do is take some of the product from the Violet Boss uh, palette. I'm going to be taking the color Hashtag, which is like that orange kind of shade, just to go right up under the lid. Or, I'm sorry, the lash line. Give me just a small wash of color, just to kind of highlight, because I have on like this peachy um, shirt, so I kind of wanted to highlight that. As and then with some mascara, I'm going to be taking the Better Than Sex Mascara. Alright, and then just to make sure everything is set, I'm going to go ahead and take the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Just a few. Alright, and this kind of melts all the product together on your skin, so it really looks like, ooh, you just look nice, dewy, hydrated, and like you're ready to be out in the sun. Or not. But <laughs> you definitely look smooth, vibrant, and everything just kind of looks cohesive. But as you can see, I did not use any blush or anything like that. I wanted to keep this really straight to the point with the highlighter contour and just kind of set everything like that. For lips, I already have on my Fenty Beauty. This is in the color of Fenty Glow, but I use that just to moisturize my lips throughout the day anyway. But I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with, what is this? The ColourPop, ColourPop Cosmetics. Why don't I talk about it anymore? Anyway, ColourPop Cosmetics in the color Dark Brown. Or actually, this is like a medium brown, honestly. Just going to go ahead and line my lips. Just lightly. I'm not even doing a real line. I'm just going to mix it with the gloss. And then right over the top of that, I'm going to take my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color London just to go over the lips, kind of mute everything out. And it kind of gives you that nice sheen without looking too, too glossy. So I'm going to mix that together. And so, of course, keep in mind when you guys try that, that's going to be really drying, which is why I have that. Fenty Glow already on my lips beforehand because like I said it gives me a nice sheen so this is pretty much a look babes I'm not going to do anything super glossy nothing super glittery I just wanted everything to kind of just look like cohesive one other product that I did kind of want to use just to kind of amp it up a little bit is the Fenty Beauty Trio this is like or actually a duo it's a kilowatt foils this one is in the color Mimosa Sunrise and Sangria Sunset so they have a pink shade and they have an orange shade obviously I'm going to use an orange shade just because I have have an orange <laughs> and I'm gonna be using that color you see where I used um, I guess the orange shade like up under the lid that was a matte shade this one's more of a shimmer shade I'm actually gonna use this in the inner corner if you guys missed my last tutorial on a pop of color definitely check it out because it did like a neon green it was so freaking cute and this orange y'all this is so freaking cute. This is really cute. It just looks like, I don't know, it just looks like summertime. Like, this is a great beach look. I'm going to have to figure out what to name this video at this point because now I'm kind of feeling like this is like a nice, cute beach summer like look. This is cute. All right, babes. So, we're all set. This is pretty much the hair. This is the makeup. Let me just kind of brush through these beautiful curls look at this this hair is so freaking pretty it's like it's super flowy soft and definitely resilient I haven't had to do anything to it like at all at nighttime I literally just put on probably like a bonnet or a scarf I literally just put it all up wake up in the morning brush it out and I kind of go because I like that effortless look so this is something that will kind of get you through the week with the soft body wave and you just kind of go Alright, so that's pretty much it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure that you are thumbs up, subscribing, you are commenting below, all that good stuff. Share the video if you have not um, with a friend already. I love you guys so, so much. I will see you next time. Stay pretty. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, babes.